Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Ben here says, I'm a long time listener from the UK, first time texter. Send an email because I don't know if it works from the UK. In your opinion, when did AW start losing momentum? For me, it's when Tony bought ROH, which saturated the roster and the belts. I know everyone likes to blame Ring of Honor, but I don't think it was Ring of Honor. There, there are two things that I think really started all of this. And the first one was Brawl Out. And, you know, for people that knew what was going on inside, I think Brawl Out really disillusioned them in a lot of ways. And for people that maybe didn't know what was going on, you uh, had a situation where a bunch of people just vanished. Punk vanished. Young Bucks vanished. Kenny Omega vanished. We, we were never told anything as viewers. So there was, there was that. There was the other big issue. And I don't know what day this is, okay? I can't tell you what day this happened. But I do know that there was a day where Tony Khan started telling people, there's no such thing as long-term booking anymore. It's week to week. And when I heard that, I was like, what? He didn't, he didn't really say that. But if you watch the shows, that's what happened. I think those two were big. And I think, obviously, the biggest issue was that Vince got ousted. Triple H took over. Did a significantly better job. The show stopped sucking. And a lot of people that have been disillusioned by WWE and chose AEW for reasons... Some of the reasons I mentioned, and everyone has their own individual reasons, they, they, uh, they decided to start watching WWE again. So those are the three things that I think has, uh, have been the biggest issues. I think the biggest thing was just the crossroads of, literally a crossroads too, because it was Cody Rhodes going out as CM Punk was coming in, but Vince going out at a time where AEW was quite messy and a lot of the negatives that a lot of people were complaining about ended up being on display. There were not a whole lot of likable figures, even though people rallied behind one side or the other. For a lot of people that were in the middle, everybody came across as incredibly unlikable. And when things aren't humming for you from a creative point of view, it turned a lot of people off. And at the flip, Vince McMahon was gone, and that was what a lot of people wanted, at least the first time around. And Vince was going to go away, and people were hoping the old regime would go, and ultimately they did end up going. Had to go through a lot of strife to get to that point, but at the end of the day, I think there were a lot of people that stuck in with AEW after a couple of years because they wanted something different, and then realized they don't want anything different. They're going to watch one thing, and that thing is going to be WWE that they treat like, I've said this before, like UFC, like the NFL, like Kleenex. You know, when people say, here's a tissue, that's what they think of. And that's exactly the way it is with, with WWE and a lot of wrestling fans. This person here says, what will happen to WOW? When NXT premieres on the CW October 1st, and there's another channel or streaming service I can watch WoW on. I don't think WoW's going anywhere. No, I don't think bad. WWE has an exclusive. Exclusives were things that Vince demanded back in the day. And Vince is gone. And after the whole deal with um, MLW and, you know, UFC, the UFC lawsuit, and, I mean, they, they ain't asking for, they don't care if WoW's on that CW. They, they no, are, I mean, I mean, they may care, but they ain't do anything about it. It'll continue to air. Uh, NWA power is going to remain on the app. You know, that that's going to be on the CW app still. And, you know, with WoW, I think it's just a matter of how long Genie Bus wants to go ahead and produce the thing and pay for it and get it out there. Because for CW, it's just really easy, cheap programming that they can smack on really at any time. This person says, I hope Miro's back problem gets fixed. I heard he can't lie down for longer than two seconds. Well, that is uh, that is one of the big problems. When you refuse to do jobs, when it doesn't work for you, brother, how do you book a guy? So uh, Tony's solution was just don't book him, as opposed to saying, brother, do the job or you're in breach of contract. And uh, I guess he didn't want to risk. I don't so know. Do you want to waste, didn't waste the legal him? resources on that one? This person here says, a Rusev Day return? Well, I'm sure Rusev wants that. Question is whether WWE wants that. 
I think they've got they got plenty of uh, big stars. Yeah. Maybe they'd they take him back. Maybe they wouldn't. Him. Yeah, they could. I mean, may, one shot at the Royal Rumble even, you know, if he wants to wait that long. And you can try to do something that way. Oh, boy. Got Carlito in, right? Isn't that how he came back? This person said, would the Dynamite ratings be better if they did not have an overrun? <laughs> we getting into this again? <laughs> it's actually a complicated question. I'll keep it simple, okay? Somebody went back and they sent Dave and I all of the overrun numbers from the past year or so. And the overrun on Dynamite regularly loses viewers, and the overrun at NXT regularly gains viewers. And so Dave, and he actually did it on the board the other day as well. He said, Dynamite only loses viewership in the overrun 25% of the time. And I was like, what are you talking about? You got the same email I did, 25%? Then I figured out that he is concentrating on 18 to 49. He's not looking at the entire viewership. Now, the issue with the overrun is not exclusive to people 18 to 49. Like, it affects me now, but when I turn 50, it's still going to affect me. That's why his so, argument was ridiculous. You have to look at... The entire viewership. What does the entire viewership do at 10 o'clock? On NXT, it always goes up. Virtually every single time it goes up. And on Dynamite, that includes this week as well, virtually every single time it goes down. Now, it could be, I, I'd have to go back because I wasn't looking at the overrun, but it's possible that 75% of the time the overrun does go up, okay? So the answer to this is, if the overrun goes up in 18 to 49, and the overrun goes down in total viewership, then the answer to your question is the overrun helps in 18 to 49 and it hurts in total viewership. Now, given this was a contract year and the 18 to 49 is the most important number, then, well, that's good for AEW. But it is running off total viewers every single week because the show cuts off for them. It should be remedied. The whole But they point won't of the overrun was to get a little advantage on the other guy and go over to the top of the hour and spike something at the end and then often get your highest rating of the night and bring up the rest of the night's rating. And Dave is right. Yes, it was 18 to 49. I can't believe it took you that long to figure that that's what he was talking about. But your point not only remains, but also... Oftentimes, when you look at that number ticking up, the 18 to 49 number has varied throughout the night. And it's actually, even though it's going up, it's not like it's going up from such a high point. It's not like it's the highest point of the 18 to 49 portion of the night. So it's like, again, when you lose so many viewers throughout the night, but then you can go, okay, we went up a little bit. Again, you go up 2,000 viewers, great. Well, if you've lost 20,000 throughout the night in that same demo, who cares that you went up in the overrun? So, I don't know. It's one of those things where everybody's got an excuse as to why it matters or why it doesn't matter. But at the end of the day is they're at one of their lowest points that they've ever been at. In fact, at the lowest point they've ever been at for a lot of all three of their shows. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.